In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can implement work folders. So we've already installed the work folder role on LonServe 2. Next thing we want to do here is we actually just want to implement it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our file storage services, come down to work folders, and then what we're going to do here is configure our work folders. So think of work folders like internet file shares, and what we're going to do here is we're now going to configure a sync share. So we'll click on our tasks, select new sync share, and then what we're going to do here is just work through a wizard. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to select next. And then we need to specify our server and path. And what we're going to do here is select by file share. And what we have is we have a file share that we've already created on the server. So this point here, what we'll now do is we'll select next. Next thing we've got here is use folder structure. So what we're going to do with the folder structure here is we're just going to use the user alias and select next. On the enter the sync share name, all we're going to do here, yep, we're happy with WF hyphen share, so we'll select next. And on the grant sync access and groups page, as we can see here, currently don't have anything set. What we've got down here though is we do have disable inherited permissions and grant users exclusive access to their files. So now what we'll do is we'll just select add. And what we have is we have a group called WF sync. So We'll just do a search for WF. There's our WF sync, so we'll select OK. We'll select our next button. We're not going to bother encrypting work folders, but we will leave on the tick box the automatically lock screen and require password, so we'll select next. And then we'll just quickly read through this. And then we'll select create. And we'll help with that, so we'll select close. So now what we'll do is we'll just go along DC1. So we've now created that work folder. The next thing we need to do is we need to allocate it to people. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to Group Policy Management under My Tools. We'll just expand up our forest. We'll just go to the Date and Domain and we'll right click. And what we'll do here is we'll create a Group Policy object on this domain and link it at this point here. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to call this one Work Folders GPO. And then we'll select OK. And the next thing we need to do is we just need to edit that group policy object. And so this will bring up the group policy management editor. And then what we need to do here is we just need to come to our user configuration. We're just going to come to policies. We're going to come to admin to templates. And under admin templates, we're looking for Windows components. And within Windows components, we're looking for work folders. And then within work folders, what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to enable it. So we'll specify the work folder settings. We'll enable. And what we need to do here is specify our work folder URL. So we've specified HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen serve two dot datum dot com. We're going to force the automatic setup as well. Now we've done all of that, we'll just select OK. And we're all done. So now any machines within datum.com now have the ability to use that work folder. We can use that then to synchronize files between client machines and we can use it as a central file share. And that's the end of this demonstration.